Hi everyone, so today I'll show you to our top tips when it comes to cheap traveling. I know that there are so many other videos on YouTube where people are talking about this and to be honest, I don't feel like they state the reality. So I'm gonna share with you our tips when it comes to traveling. Trust me, we are students or recent graduates as I am. So we have to travel for less if we actually want to travel. So here are our tips when it comes to cheap traveling. The first step that we are doing is to look through Ryanair, Blue Air, um, EasyJet websites. Why we are looking at these websites and we are not using Skyscanner? We don't use Skyscanner because you can always, almost always find better options and offers on the actual websites on Ryanair or EasyJet or Blue Air than the ones that you can find on Skyscanner. Like always, always, always. So our advice for you would be to go straight onto their website and check out what offers they have right now. Once we find some good deals, we have to decide on a date that works for us and then buy the tickets. We usually don't buy tickets that are more expensive than £70 both ways. That's our maximum, yeah, that's our maximum. So the next step would be to look through Airbnb and find an accommodation that works for us and suits us really well. We almost always go for Airbnb because we absolutely love it. Every single time we had an amazing experience. Uh, and this is not an ad for Airbnb at all. We just absolutely love it because every single time we had an amazing experience from getting to know like amazing people that had an impact on this world and um, feeling like a local and not as a tourist at all. We had some like bad experiences as well because we chose the cheapest one on Airbnb and in the middle of the night I was like crying myself out because I wanted to go somewhere else to a hotel or yeah but these kind of experiences the bad ones as well represent amazing memories and they that will last forever so but most of the time Airbnb provides us with an amazing experience which we'll absolutely love so our tip for you would be um, if you want to save yourself the hassle and the stress of not staying in a nice place, don't choose the cheapest uh, flat or apartment or place to stay from Airbnb. Go for the one that is a bit more expensive, just with a few pounds more. I'm not saying, I don't know, hundreds of pounds more, just a few pounds more, not the cheapest, cheapest one. Sometimes the cheapest one can be amazing but sometimes it can be quite awful and a surprise maybe the cleanliness of the place wouldn't be as good as you would expect it to be besides airbnb we always like to check expedia and bookings.com um, to be honest we don't book too much using these two websites but we are always coming back to airbnb but it's always good to check it because sometimes they have really really good offers once the accommodation is booked we are good to go we are not worrying about anything else <laughs> once we are there we like to use the local transport uh, buses tram metro whatever it is what we like to do beforehand is to google to see how it is cheaper to buy your tickets is it weekly or daily uh, and for this we are using TripAdvisor because so many people state their opinion on there and we always find the best deals and which is the best way to buy your tickets. If we are thinking of traveling through multiple cities, uh, we are booking almost everything in advance. Uh, what does it mean? We are booking accommodation and train tickets. To be honest with you, train train tickets are not mandatory we usually or lately in the last year we bought them on spot when we were already there so all we booked in advance was just accommodation call us crazy but we love it <laughs> so now probably you're wondering why don't you use an agency a travel agency and save yourself the hassle and don't worry about any of these things well agencies and travel agencies are bull if you're asking me why i'm saying this is that they are trying to sell you things that are absolutely pointless and 
they basically don't sell you any offers all they want is to make money for themselves all those 10 kilogram cabin bag for free and you'll get 25% off for um, accommodation it's just bullshit this, this is not real basically they can find really cheap accommodation they they will add loads of money for themselves to that price and then they're gonna tell you that they found a really good offer <clears throat> which is not the case which is just a lie so that's why we don't like to use travel agents my advice for you would be and what i would recommend to every single one who's watching this video is to do their very own research why i'm saying this because if you're doing your own research, you're buying your own tickets accommodation, you can have a beautiful holidays, luxurious holidays for such a small price, probably even half the price that you would get it from an agency. So do your own research and you will have amazing holidays, trust me. I know so many people that are quite afraid to book their own holiday. I don't know why they think that something might go wrong, but trust me, there's nothing that can go wrong. Even if you're going through an agency, they are doing the same thing that you're doing. It's just that they're booking everything for you. But you can do that as well and trust me, it's not so time consuming as you might think. It just takes a few minutes to Google it and that's it. So my advice for you would be don't use agencies, do your own research and travel a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found my tips useful. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I really love to hear from you and talk to you. Thank you so much for watching.